This is Genesis LED wiring into a PX1 Ford Ranger. We are wiring this to run with nighttime position marker and full beam function only. Now just unboxing the lights. And then we're gonna use the lock nuts on this as well, the genuine light force lock nuts, and also the Ranger switch. So just checking through the harness, making sure you know roughly where everything's gonna go. Um, and then, uh, um, with your Deutsch 4 connectors, so these are a four pin connector, which you need to run the nights on position and the full beam function and switch wiring. Fuse, make sure the fuse is pushed in properly before dropping the dust cap back on the top. We are gonna use the H4 patch harness on this car. It has an H4 headlight globe. These are the switches that come with the harness, whether you use these switches, which you can use the switches to come with the harness or the Ranger switches. Okay, so just removing the radiator cowling. Be very careful those clips, they do become brittle with age and heat. So just take care of removing them and also the clips on the grill. We will need the grill out for this install. So take the grill out, place it safely to one side. Lay your wiring harness out in the engine bay. Um, get your bearings from the relay. The relay needs to be secured to the engine bay. Make sure that from where you secure the engine bay, the cabling will have room to reach where you'll need it to run. Plenty of room on the Ranger but between the headlight and the left hand side um, uh, brace to run the wiring for the lights and just make sure that that's routed in a way that it's not going to foul with um, chafe through. Mount the relays on the left hand side of the engine bay and just secure them. The Genesis only uses one relay and make sure that's secured up to the left hand side of the engine bay close to the battery. Disconnect the, of the back of the headlight and then we can then use the H4 connector, so we don't need to go um, tapping into any other wires. The three wires that come off the back of that will connect straight into your wiring loom, so you, the blue, orange, and green wires will connect straight into the wiring harness. We need to run the wires through from the engine bay into the cab. Uh, we're doing this on the left side of the engine bay. So stagger the terminals as you take them to your wire and then use the piece of wire to pierce the engine, the uh, grommet in the engine bay into the interior. Make that a bit easier when you have taped them to the piece of wire. Just make sure you use a bit of spray lubricant just so it goes through the grommet without tearing or damaging the terminals. And when they're fed back through, pull it through on the left hand side underneath the glove box. Make sure to give yourself plenty of slack. And then on the Ranger, up above the transmission tunnel, there's plenty of room that you can trace it straight back through into the driver's side footwell. Then take the tape off the terminals and you can discard the piece of wire. So if you're using the existing switches that come with the wiring loom, this is how they would be wired. And then if you wanted to use the genuine Ranger switch, which is available from Lightforce, it would be wired as illustrated. using the genuine light force switch, pushes into the dash nice and neatly and fits in there flush. We need to pick up power off the battery, so 12 volt battery power, goes straight to the battery, doesn't matter which terminal you use, but make sure it is a very solid connection to the battery. With earth, run that elsewhere in the engine bay, not on the negative battery terminal. Securing the lights, we're gonna use lock nuts on these, so when you use the light force lock nuts, um, use the lock nut, connect that, but make sure you put the original Nilex nut on after the lock nut, as so that will make sure the lock nut can't work loose, and then that can be tensioned up. This particular car didn't have enough clearance, so with the Genesis LED, you can turn the bottom bracket around 180 degrees, and then that will then allow you more vertical adjustment, more up and down adjustment for the light. So it will clear bull bars, other light bars, etc. Any wiring underneath, uh, if any loose wiring must be secured. And then when you refit the grill, the plugs will need to come through the grill. Push them through, leave the grill loose as you need access to get behind to connect your Deutsch 4 connectors, 4 pin connectors. And once they're secured, make sure they're zip tied in if they're loose and then you can refit the grill. And then refit the upper engine radiator cowling. <laughs> 